Vickers interview, take one. From as far back as I can remember, I knew I wanted to be a mommy. So you just think you're ready to start a family, you're just gonna have the babies, like it'll just happen. In 2011, we got miraculously pregnant, but that pregnancy was uh, very difficult. And in March of 2012, we lost that baby. I was really expressing, you know, I'm mad at you, God. <laughs> I'd actually begun serving uh, in the kids' ministry at church and um, just telling the Lord, I don't think I can do that. It's too hard. But the Lord just responded with such tenderness. You don't have to keep working with kids. But if you do step back into this, I'm going to make you the mother of many. We did end up seeing our first fertility doctor. He told us we literally had like zero, zero point one percent chance or something of conceiving a baby. Anyone that is trying for a family, like every month, you are like, is this the month? Is this the month? Months turn into years. When you're walking through this fertility struggle and then you know that um, there's a whole day dedicated to moms, it's, it's easy to feel uh, forgotten. Coming to Gateway, Pastor Robert would come up and he asked women to stand up that wanted to have babies. I remember feeling so seen. The thought came to me of being a mother. And um, in that moment, I told the Lord, I just can't even think about that right now. It just seems so far away. Almost just like word for word, I felt in my spirit. He said, I'm always thinking about it. I just said, okay, well, if you're thinking about it, then you've got it worked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you the star of the show? Yeah, you see light. Can you say hello? Hello. Oh, you got the phone. Hello. You gonna go for an adventure? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> From the moment of starting to try to have a family to Wyatt being here was a little over 13 years. But now, like, seeing so much promise fulfilled in my life, seeing our sweet baby boy who is just more than we could have asked for. Um, I really have moments of like, I can't believe this is my life. <laughs> how did we get here? Um, this is not how we planned it or in the timing, but it's beautiful and it's perfect. For those that are still going through this, that are still waiting, there's something that happens in the waiting that is really beautiful. And God is preparing something for you if you will just trust Him.